Hello and welcome to my first vlog in forever. It's been a good few years. Not that I was really vlogging in the first place, but I digress. So I've been really bad. Um, in about October, no it's got to be before that, um, in September last year, August or September last year, I was sent some really really lovely clip and hair extensions from irresistibleme.com and um, my hair was a bit too light for the colour that I'd ordered so I was waiting for my hair colour appointment and then I got rushed to hospital with my kidney stones um, and basically that saga went on till December. Uh, so I've been really rubbish and I haven't reviewed these hair extensions and it's definitely time I did. Now I got sent, I've got to check this because I always get confused by my colour hence ordering the wrong colour in the first place. So I have the light brown um, silky touch hair extensions and they're in a 22 inch now the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, this is like the main piece I think I got five pieces in the pack I don't use all five because I haven't actually got that much hair um, and it looks a bit ridiculous on me because firstly it won't all clip in because my hair's quite thin and secondly it's like flat and then like oh, so yeah, it looks ridiculous. Anyway, so this is like the main piece. I've curled them uh, because my hair's a bit curly today. Um, so it, I find it blends better. I mean, if I've got really straight hair and the extension's straight, that's all good. But otherwise, it's good to curl. And I think it adds more volume. Um, it can look a bit like Mortish Adams on me if it's too straight. Anyway, I digress again. These are triple weft, it's a triple weft piece, uh, so that means that there's three lines of hair in here. And what I really like, firstly, is they're really sturdy clips, and because of the netting that's sewing the three wefts together, which is quite unusual, um, it's a lot more sturdy and secure. Even when I put it in my hair, it feels like it's going to stay there, and it's not going to break anytime soon, and these are not coming off. So that's really great. Um, so I'm just going to put them on, so as you can see I haven't really got that much hair and it's not particularly long, sorry the mirror's there. Um, so I like to keep mine a bit high, I used to go quite low but it can look a bit, a bit odd on me. So you can see the colour is quite a good match I'd say, even though I've gone a slightly lighter again. Right. I might just speed this bit up because it's a bit boring. So that's weft number one. There is a bit of a difference, but I like to keep it. The higher you put it up, the less that's going to notice. And also I've got the rest of it. Sometimes you, if you go lower, you can sort of build it up. Because I'm not wearing too many pieces, if I keep it higher, then it doesn't look like I've got like mass hair and then just really long bits. Um, so that is that bit. Besides, I can always pretend I was really edgy once and had an undercut. Not that I have enough hair to have an undercut, that's always something I've wanted. Right, so the next piece will go here. What I like to do is, um, I've got one of those, or what they're called, one of those like triple curling irons where you can individually heat the three things I can't remember what they're called now um, it'll come to me at some point I think it begins with an E so I've curled them with that and then I brush them through once they're once they're um, like not hot anymore once they've cooled down that's the word um, either with my fake tangle teaser it's a bit hairy or with um, a wide tooth comb just because then it doesn't go frizzy but it separates the curls up a bit more otherwise you just end up with ringlets so let's pop this piece in here fault my faltering out so that's one side and then on this side I'm going to put a three in which is going to run like this and then a two in a bit further up. Oh, there's my clip. Does anyone else? Like, I know it's the thing with Kirby Grips. You buy a million packets and then, you know, they're everywhere. 
but never anywhere where you need them despite the fact that you definitely put them in the drawer last time you took them out of your hair if they didn't get lost that bit as you can see I haven't really got much hair so it makes this bit a bit difficult we'll see how we get on I'll just go a tiny bit further down and then because of these short bits at the front that I have I tend to just give it a bit of a curvy grip also because I think it looks nicer on my head on one side and then I usually keep my fringe out or let that And those are the hair extensions as I said they're the 22 my hair was longer when I ordered them so they blended better but you know and I haven't washed these for a while there's one thing that people don't realize you have to do with hair extensions is probably wash them quite a lot um, you don't have to go crazy but what I tend to do is I will fill my sink with soapy water or shampooy water put the hair in to give it a bit of a clean I usually do weft by weft and then squeeze them out and put some moisturiser on uh, moisturiser conditioner on it um, and then wash that out and then either leave them to dry naturally on like the radiator oddly or you can like pat them dry with a fibre cloth or a fibre towel um, and they'll last so so much longer if you do that and also that way you don't get like the lacklustre look it'll be just as shiny as your hair so yeah these are a really lovely pair from Irresistible Me really lovely length really good quality and I'm really really happy with them and I am so sorry IrresistibleMe.com that it took me so long to do this review it's really not acceptable um, so, sayonara suckers! <laughs>